I guess this only applies to people going into undergrad, like straight from high school. But I would recommend pacing yourself so you don't burn out. Because a lot of people, they just go so hard out in those first two years and then they haven't got enough of that energy left for actual medicine those next four years. Um, undergrad is just sort of like a bridging course. It's nothing to be taken too, too heavily. So just try and pace yourself. No, I know that I'm not. But we're basically the babies of the cohort, so we're a bit younger, We've, we lack the sort of clinical experience that a lot of these older students have, so a lot of them have been like physiotherapists, radiographers, pharmacists for quite, quite a few years before returning to uni. So we're seen as sort of like the dull-eyed little babies that come in without much experience. And do you, have they been at an advantage just because they have had, you know, real world experience dealing with people and yeah. all that sort of stuff? Like tell me about how you guys, I guess, sort of have been bridging that gap. And yeah, so it, it is quite a, it, it's a hard working process. So I, I do find that there, there is a gap to begin with. Um, some of us are naturally better at others than at communicating and dealing with people in the real world. But it is, it is definitely noticeable. You can see a lot of the students seem to be, the older students are quite confident in first year dealing with patients, whereas all the twosies are like, oh my god, what do I say to the patient? How do I do this? And you kind of got to think about everything you say, like even how you greet the patient, you got to kind of think about it. But it all kind of becomes second nature as you go along. Um, the more time you spend in hospitals dealing with real patients without like an examiner looking over your shoulder, I think that really helps. So I like to think it's closed the, closed the gap by now. <laughs> Did you like ever, like even greeting a patient, like what do you, what do you do there? Like tell me about that. And what did you do differently maybe a couple of years ago? Uh -huh. So we're, we're a lot less awkward now, so it's it's sort of like second nature to us. But back then, like, you really try and formulate the conversation in your head before you actually say the stuff. Whereas now it just, it's all second nature, it just flows naturally. Yeah. Back then, I used to have to, like, prepare what I was going to say next, what question I was going to have to ask next. Then you don't really know what you're asking anyway, so you don't know what you're talking about, patient doesn't know what they're talking about, and it's just <laughs> a bit of a mess at times.